Let's come back to the Tzav Bezirus. He's talking about levels of spiritual experiences. Pretty heavy stuff, but then again, uh, he's the Piyasetz Nareba, and he was one of the most choshev and acknowledged tzaddikim of his generation, so obviously it's... Uh, it's a schus for us to at least have his words and be able to nurture some sense of what this is all about. So he, 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 he puts down a challenge. He says, would you like to measure your spiritual experience? You want to measure the, the awe of Hashem and the depth of your inner understanding, your vision of Kavi Yuchel, of the Ibishta and the realm of the spiritual. A challenge. <laughs> Would you like to know if you really found your innermost neshama? And with it, with that, that position of spirituality, if you found your, the nakuda of your neshama, have you peaked? At Kavi Yuchel the Ibisha through the cosmic spectrum, through that 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 vision that only comes to to the few who can decipher a vision without any material connections. Did you did you see Kavi Yuchel Hashem who cannot be seen and grasp him who? is beyond physical dimensions. Did you see him? Who is exalted beyond all dimension of the physical. In other words, when you had the experience of spirituality, that moment, were you able to, to sense all that this is talking about beyond your physical needs and your physical wants? Did you see him who is exalted beyond all the worlds? And gaze at the blinding light that is Kamiyuch of the Ibishta. Did you really experience these things? <laughs> or was it all in your mind and your imagination? In other words, in Yiddish it's called Dinat Sachup. Are you did you really feel these totally altruistic sense of the Abishta? Or was it also connected with your own needs and your own? No one's saying that's bad. It's just here's the test of time. That's what the Reb is talking about. The test of where you're really at. So he says like this. This then shall be your test. Did you feel while you were meditating or in that place of, of, of that, that special feeling of warmth, of Kedusha that sometimes are granted to us? So did you feel detached from your normal everyday self? Did you feel uplifted to a higher perspective that is so intense that that you felt you've surrendered and and yourself and you were selflessness, your your goof, your your physicality had no bearing, it was not there. Then that you and that you feared and you and you loved Hashem at the same time. Did you did you melt? Did you melt from the sweat that drenched your body and feel ashamed to even be praying to him to come the the supreme and, and transcendental being of the world? You know, awestruck. Were you awestruck? Or was it the dominant? Yeah. I'm, I'm, what, did you see him? Who, 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 who is indwelling? Though you know you didn't because it's impossible to see. Did you recognize Hashem as the unrecognizable? Listen to the poetry of the Rebbe. The articulation. Did you did you pray only with great effort and out of a broken heart? 
and shame and humility and did just did you just do this to fulfill Kabir Hashem's will? Could you reach out and fill her, not because you needed something or not because that's what we have to do, but because Hashem is waiting for your word. It's for Hashem's sake that you're doing it. If this transpired, says the Lord, then you transcended yourself. You went higher than your physicality. You saw through eyes of your neshama. Was it? It was beyond. Uh. If you did not experience any of these things, then you were davening through your own eyes, your own mind's eye. But, he says, don't stop trying. Even if this is your, is your limit at the moment. Because this too is very worthwhile. So I think the Rebbe here is trying to, he's, he's, he's coming, there is such a sense, there are certain individuals, special people, who can transcend themselves and reach up to a higher place that is without any physicality whatsoever. And the Rebbe is giving you an understanding. This is, this is the measure stick of getting that to that position, if that's real or not. But the Rebbe says, but don't stop trying just because you didn't get there. If that's not you, don't worry. Everyone has their, has their tikkun in their place. If you have your limit, you have your limit, don't worry, because this is also worthwhile to the Irish. The Irish is our health and we should just keep davening as much as we, as we all know now with what's going on again and again, I keep talking about it because it can't leave us alone. This COVID and, the, and the, all that, every day new families, new people, I hear myself in my own family, never kinder, I neglect. Let's daven. Let's try. I told my audience, Everyone should take upon themselves to say ten kipitla to Hillen every day, extra than what they've davening it or whatever. Ten kipitla, any ten you want. Just now is shove over in the special time of the year, spiritual time of the year. Take upon yourself, open your hearts out because time is just calling us. Don't you see? Don't you see? Now I should help. The fears in your shears.